Tell me, how do your co-workers describe you? That's one of the questions you're likely to get asked at an interview. And it's always good to prepare in advance the answer to these kind of questions. I'm Sarah Naylor. I'm a career consultant, coach, business owner, speaker and author, and I help professional individuals manifest their dream job and transform their lives. And I want to help you do the same through these short video clips on YouTube. So tell me, how do your co-workers describe you? It's a question that is asked, you know, during interviews on a regular basis, and it's important that you prepare and you have good answers ready to answer this question. So how do you answer it? You do answer it honestly, however, you certainly focus on the positive. So how do they, how do your co-workers describe you? Would they describe you as um, hardworking, chatty, friendly, or would they go, oh no, I really don't like her. Well, let's put it this way, you need to focus on the positives. It's not a good idea to go into an interview and turn around and say, well, do you know what? her in accounts, I really don't get on with her. And, you know, as for my boss, oh my God, that's why I want to leave. No, <laughs> you really do need, it sounds obvious, but to look at the positives, look at the fo focus on the positives, how they would describe you in a positive manner, that you are a good timekeeper, that you, you know, you're a great team member, that you, um, you know, you, you help out, you go above and beyond, you go the extra mile, you know, you would give them examples. Um, I talk in another video about competency style interviews. You know, this is an opportunity to demonstrate, um, you know, your competency as a team worker. You know, it's a really good um, opportunity for you to do so, to think of an example where, you know, you've pulled together as a team and you've helped your colleagues out. Um, that way, demonstrating how you will you know, work within their environment. Likewise, if the role that you are going for or you're being interviewed for is one where confidentiality, confidentiality is required, I can't say that word, <laughs> confidentiality is required, you know, it may be worth thinking about examples whereby, um, you know, a work colleague has come to you with a confidential issue and you've, you know, you've handled that. So again, you can give that as an example. So think about the positives, think about good examples that you can give and you can demonstrate, ideally in your current role, last role, most recent role, or if this is, you know, your first foray out into um, interviews. So well done, great. In fact, well done to any of you who's actually already out there getting an interview because you've nailed it, you've got that far. So you now need to nail the interview. So think about it in advance. And if you haven't got work experience before, you know, think about any um, examples of teamwork that you've done, whether it's been at school or university or outdoor activities, indoor activities, anything that you've done whereby you can explain how somebody would view you or working with you or what you're like to be with. Anyway, good luck. Please do let me know if you get a job, because I always like to hear good news. And if you found this useful, please do subscribe to my channel as I will be giving and creating regular videos on a weekly basis uh, to help you manifest that dream job. Uh, so good luck and go get that job. Thank you for listening.